We hope you enjoyed the women's playoffs earlier today. It is tournament number four right now. It is the Classics 2. Again, 32 people will make the playoffs. Last year, this tournament was won by the number one player in the world, Asher Lefkoff. Who will it be this year to take this home? Let's find out. Hi there, everybody. This is a IE pinball stream for the Classics 2 finals. This is the first round of the finals we'll be covering, the three of us. Hi, I'm Ron. Hi, I'm Mike Welsh. And I'm Tom Graff. So welcome. We're here at the Riverside Convention Center in beautiful Riverside, beautiful. California. Yes. And we're going to be watching some Classics action. Yeah, some more uh, Classics today, our second Classics tournament. Our third, actually, if you count the Classics match play. Uh, Neil and Tom, did either of you get a chance to play in the Classics today? I did, unfortunately. Uh, I, That's I did why I'm in the booth. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I did, also, unfortunately, because I am also in the booth. <laughs> but you uh, you did very well the last two uh, Classic tournaments. Uh, yeah, the match play Classics, I, I finished second. Yep. And then yesterday, I actually did nothing for most of my entries. And then the last entry, I had, I think I had a, a first, a first, a hundredth, and a first. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> and just got in at the bottom. Yeah, that's pretty amazing. Uh, but uh, a lot of uh, great competitors here, top 32, uh, whittling down to the final person. And uh, the winner gets this beautiful trophy awesome here. Awesome trophy. And the qualifying, we should say, is, is the, I think, the hardest qualifying format there okay. is yeah. where basically it's it's not it's not a situation where you could just play the same game over and over and keep putting money in until no you you pay for one entry four games and all four games have to be good yep or well three number ones in a terrible <laughs> game can also but <laughs> even then you'll be at the bottom of the list the consistency needed is yeah. high level high level and beyond what i can normally produce i'll say that yeah, playing one good game of pinball is, is hard enough, <laughs> let right. alone four. Especially in <laughs> games of, of this era where house balls are plenty. Yes. Too many. Too many. <laughs> so right now what they're doing, they're getting the groups together, and the high seeds in each group are picking their games or deferring if they just want to pick order. And we're doing, I believe we're, they're doing so, the high seeds – Depending on how long they stay in, they cannot repeat any picks. All right. So it looks like we're headed over to Car Hop for our first game. To a surprise of not me. <laughs> <laughs> At group five. Group five. So what you'll see is probably as the tournament goes on, you're probably going to be seeing a good degree of Car Hop. I'm guessing you will be seeing a lot of um, uh, Cheetah, probably. Yeah, car, car Hop, I think it's a game that people weren't familiar with no. as much. And now that people have been able to put They're their familiar. games in, they've sort of figured it out. Uh, you'll probably see a lot of the uh, hitting the lit spinner. And this is an interesting game. In most Gottlieb games of this era, you usually have to just roll through the in lane to light the spinner. But in this game, you kind of have to hit this combo on that right loop. There's a drop target up there. And then through the upper spinner will be lit. And you can keep comboing that to increase the spinner at a huge value, I think. 200,000 to spin, huge points. Yes, in the Classics match play, I was in a group with uh, Bowen Karens, and he had no idea how to play this game. So <laughs> that's all you need to know. <laughs> yeah, if you can execute on that spinner, big points. And looks like our, our first group here will be Jeff Teolis, Eden Stam, Travis Murray, and David Johnston. How important is it to go for this target when it's uh, flashing? That's a good question, because I've seen people just trap and completely ignore it, depending on, on what mode it's in. There is a mode on this called, uh, I think it's called Bullseye. Mm -hmm. Bullseye mode, where it's a million a hit on that, that target up there. And you got to hit it pretty good. I noticed glancing blows do not register. No. All right, player one is going to be Jeff Teolis. I saw him put up a good, car, uh, good game on this in qualifying, over 50 million. He's looking for some hot stuff maybe this evening with his Donna Summer <laughs> shirt. So you saw him trying to hit the spinner there. It's lit off the plunge. Unfortunately missed, and it is a combo. It, it goes out whenever you hit any other switch. You see in the center we have hamburgers. 
if you get them in a line, something happens. <laughs> <laughs> I think if they're in a line, it does light the bullseye for a million, as long as they're in a line. Very easy trap here. Yeah, this is the Gottlieb flippers of this era, pretty much always an easy trap. And there's that spinner shot. Can he keep it going? Now, when qualifying, I know Dan Daniele Asciari actually had, he rolled this twice. Wow. That's Which is just insane. <laughs> yes. He had a crowd around him for that. So there are chances of big scores here. A little hang up on the spinner there. Gottlieb flippers, the ball comes nicely to a trap. Yep. Uh, the one, one good thing about that design. The only good thing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> because it could also get a little floppy, so you go to do a dead bounce, and it doesn't work. And it just, like, right there, it did not bounce off very far. I noticed, uh, at least on this, the um, kick out from the left, the left hole is not as consistent, and you have to I, kind of trap it. From the I, right, you can just let it bounce off the left flipper. Yeah, I noticed the same thing when I was playing this wrong. So interestingly, uh, Jeff has his center bullseye lit to collect the last letter in car hop, the O. Unfortunately, he just hit a switch, so it changed. But that does give you a jackpot. Ah. Do you actually have to shoot it, or does it just give it to you? I think you, you just have to shoot it. But I'm not sure. I guess hopefully we'll find out when someone hits it. Someone will do it. <laughs> When I was watching Jeff earlier, he chose to time out most of the modes and just go for the spinner all day. I think that'll be the high level strategy we'll see. Will he go for the drop? No, he's going for target. And these are Gottlieb drops, so they will pretty much always work. And there's the yo, there's the jackpot. Nice. There's the bell. And you do just get it. They got a pretty heavy duty bell in this thing. It's a very good sound. And you can see the letters on the back glass, the car, star, and the hop. And I believe that's progressive from game to game, so you do want to keep an eye on that. There's a hallmark of John Norris, the designer of this game. Oh. He loved his progressive awards. A nice ball one from Jeff. That's an start. E excellent ball one. At least for me, that would have been excellent ball, and I would have taken that in my qualifying. All right, another Canadian, Eden Stam. Eden Stam. Well, I didn't recognize it first, because last time I saw him, he had hair shorter than mine. <laughs> <laughs> COVID does that. Oh, didn't quite get the spinner there. Still got some good points. And that question mark gives you a random mode. Unfortunately, it was just a thousand oh, points there. And yes. Yeah, he wasn't expecting that, uh, that yeah, to did, bounce off that post. Yeah, he didn't play the kick out. He didn't play it for the bounce pass. He hit it on the fly. And then he also it, it hit the center post. The center post, it, it had rubber on it yesterday, but not today. I noticed they took it off. There's a nice spinner shot. I know this guy, Travis Murray. He's on that podcast. Yes. Triple drain. So this is an interesting feature. You use the flipper to cycle through the modes. You want to try to get a good mode. Uh, bullseye round was a good mode. Score 1,000, not so much. Let's see if he gets something. He gets the line up the hamburgers, <laughs> which not great, but the bullseye is lit for a million. He could try to hit that or maybe just go for the spinner some more. He does not All go right. for it. No. I would say Travis is very, it'd be a very deliberate, safe approach. Yeah. He's playing. He's not going to just go for things. Yeah, this is definitely the safe way to play it. If you can make the, the spinner shot, you're never in danger. He's trying to post pass over right now. Yeah, I kind of, I gave up on the post pass. I, yeah. I just did chat saying Allen pass.
just get a diner vibe with this when I hear all the bells. <laughs> Expect to hear order up. <laughs> it's making me hungry. I'm kind of, I want an ice pop. <laughs> well, I, I, if I looked this up, this probably came out around the same time as diner. Still trying the post pass. Yeah, he's not still cooperating. trying to get it to that left flipper. He's not giving up. No. I'm going to make it work. <laughs> Don't tap pass it though. Don't try that. No, I there tried you. the alley. Yeah. Oh. No. Mm, slight lead on Jeff here. There's David Johnston. Another Canadian. All the Canadians are here in force. <laughs> eh, I couldn't get a spinner there. Oh. oh, that's the danger of hitting those drops. Out of control. Yes, the level of talent of this tournament is Probably the highest we'll see overall. I would say all the best players in the world are here. Quite a few. Nice spinner rip there. Off the plunge. Look how much he got just from that. Huge. And again. And he can keep going. Here. There was a post transfer. Yeah, he did it. Oh. oh. But great spinner shots there. Spin for the win. you raise that target up there I believe the left that left li rollover on the far left of the play field will raise it okay so you just want to hit hit the spinner or hit the center shot and it will re-raise okay. then you can combo it into that right loop you went for the bullseye so here we go He's gonna try to hit the bullseye so some players have been timing this out or you could hit the bullseye for a million as long as the mode's running actually it looks like Eden just Didn't, gonna ignore it yeah, go spinner all day it. there it goes so and see, that's a glancing. It did not, I think that registered. It did not hit their belt. There There's we go. one. Bring that bell. <laughs> nice shot. Oh, but the spinner didn't light. No. Now he's into the heat wave mode. We'll probably see him time this out. Three million isn't a lot of points and it takes a lot of shots to get through this mode. Yeah, it's like eight or nine shots at that bullseye to get it. It's just yeah. too risky. When I played this two days ago, this is what we were doing. Like, uh, no. We're not, we're not doing that. <laughs> there's a lot of, of this. A cool feature on the back glass in the top left, there's a thermometer, and it actually raises as you make shots, and you have to fill the thermometer and to get the reward. Sometimes it's for double your score, which if you're greedy, maybe that's worthwhile sometimes. But and look yeah. at the grid. It has the actual <laughs> numbers, which I've never noticed before, but a lot of the godly games with the grid do this. Two, one. That's awesome. And I believe it's like zero, two. No, it just goes from one to off. <laughs> There we 
go. There nice. you go. Alex Witt. Great. Look at those points. No. 200,000 a spin. That's absurd. Oh, this is a nice uh, little hurry up feature on the bullseye. It counts up to a million, but if you time it right just for the end, it, it goes to 10 million. Oh, it does? <laughs> yeah. It's nice. really hard to get that 10 million, but. Oh, wow. We see Eden there just time it out, continue the safe strategy. Watching this, you can see why this is going to be a popular pick. Just because you, you get a chance. Yep. Not going to get house too much. Do the safe things, keep yep. the ball alive, and get your points. Nice. Up the middle. Tried for it. Settle down. Now he he backhanded that center loop before, so I'm wondering if he tries that again. There he goes. He tried it. Nice. Spinner time. Boom. More value. Oh. Nice. Timer counting five, four, <laughs> three. <laughs> Not quite as exciting as like a shuttle launch or anything. <laughs> All right, mystery award. Extra ball for what a million? Yeah, I'm not sure if that's worth worth points there. Maybe uh, two hundred fifty thousand or five hundred thousand. Usually got got leave them out. Oh. oh, yeah, no rubber on that post. So great ball from Eden. Yeah, Climbing up to ten million, solidly in second place. But we saw it just takes one or two good spinner rips, you get a ton of points. Absolutely, there's the one. Play for double your score. Will he do it? He's doing it. Well, but unfortunately, I don't think you can let your spinner while this mode's running, but maybe he's actually trying to double his score. That would be exciting. goes and I will say one of the six seconds one of the awards or modes you can get in this game there is a catch-up award and it is actually on did he do it I think he did it he did, he did. He, he caught jumps right into up the to lead. Jeff. I love it gutsy play so when I was playing this before one of the awards I got was ketchup, and they spell it like ketchup, like the, the food item. Uh -huh. But it, it didn't catch me up to the first player, but it ca caught me up to the whoever I was closest oh, to. Yeah. <laughs> That's another Gottlieb special yes. right there. <laughs> Couldn't 
hit the spinner there. All right, back, back to work. Back to the grind. And I got to say, these players make it look easy, but that's a tight <laughs> shot there. Yeah. And hitting that upper spinner, it's, it's not easy. What a ball there from Travis. Ah, great ball. Catching up the first place, doubling his score. David hits the spinner. Play for three million. So in this mode, what are we going for? The suns that are flashing? Yeah, the, yeah. the sun shots. I believe yeah. the bullseye's worth more points than the, the shots. So I think you get two hits for the bullseye and one for the lanes. Does it tell you how many hits you need? I, uh, it's the thermometer on the back glass. Ah, Unfortunately, okay. we, don't, we don't have a full view of it. There's a nice bullseye hit there. He's got to make one or two more shots. Maybe Bullseye will do it. Oh, and that's it. And that was a nice little shake to save it from going yep. into the outline on the right side there. And also, this is Scott Lee, so there is no grace period. Takes the score. Was that score 500,000? That's not bad. Take no. that. Three points. Three. Get control. <laughs> there you go. Mm. Another mm -hmm. mode, another five hundred K. That's nice. And the nice side. A nice uh, dip outside. Yeah. Some nice backhand. so nice when you can trap everything. <laughs> Good dig there. Keeps it alive, tips it over. And out. So now we're going into ball three. Travis is in the lead by a hair over Jeff. Both with 14 million. Ron and Mike, I think we're going to see a spinner rip here. Mm, I think so. <laughs> An attempt. Now, there is a skill shot on this game, that upper rollover, but it's not really worth it because it turns off the spinner. Might as well just plunge, yeah. hit the spinner for millions versus I think the skill shots only spots you an ice pop. <laughs> um, not very worthwhile. <laughs> right. And Andrew Foster in the background from the UK. Waiting for Jeff Teolis. Picking up ice pops. He wants to ice his opponents. <laughs> oh, oh, just missed it. Oh, there's a the tilt warning. Yes, that is not a malfunction. That is their tilt warning sound. Oh, he can double his score here like Travis did. He's going to do it. No, he's no. going to time it out. Oh, oh he's, come he's on. Not gonna. 
It is a risky proposition. It's a lot of shots to make. But it's a lot of points. <laughs> Easy for us to say, go for it. We're not there. Of course. But I'll say, go for <laughs> it. Come on. <laughs> yeah, Jeff's no dummy. He's going to play for that spinner. Do the safe thing. He's going for the post transfer. Oh, nope. he's going to uh -oh. call it TD. Is there an issue? It's an issue. Bob, Ma Bob Matthews coming over. Not sure what the issue is. I wonder if he's asking if the, about the drop target. That's what I'm wondering fact, too. That's not up. Because definitely it is down sometimes. So it, it's this star rollover here, or is it up top? I was thinking it's the the rollover on the left, but I could be incorrect. You might have to combo it from the spinner. Okay. And then it re raises. I do know on the right, one of the, uh, the lights says light spinner, and the other green one might be a raised drop target. Okay. But I'm not. Not totally clear. Maybe we'll keep an eye on it. While oh, we're waiting for this ruling, feel free to subscribe to IE Pinball. Yes. If you're tuning in for the first time, you can follow. It's free to do so. Carl is an amazing streamer. Oh, they're paging. Oh. We are paging Jim Belcito. Whose game it the probably master. is, I'm guessing. <laughs> our main our main tech. Yeah, shout outs to Jim fixing all the games. This game was at uh, Pinball at the Lake, and that's uh, where I got my first try at it. And I had never seen it before in my life. And here's J Jeff, I guess we're playing on. Yeah, they're probably calling him for one of the other matches. <laughs> and there, the, the, the drop target he, just re raised yes. when he hit oh, that. Oh, uh, oh there's okay. Jim. He's good. He's good. He's probably going to explain. Jim, the former Pinburg champion. Yeah, I think that's what they're asking about is the drop target because I saw him just point in that direction. This is where you hope you don't drain instantly because you look so full when <laughs> <after> that happens. <laughs> It's a spinner anyways. And there it we is. go. Here's your chance. Nice. And that's why you time out that mode so you get a chance to do this for way more points. Great control and by Jeff. Not how much. Like, this is what I had to do, huh? <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't mean I'd be able to do it, but. And if you can keep comboing this, this spinner builds in value. Oh, it does. Yeah, I think it goes from 100,000, I think up to 200,000, maybe even 300,000, wow. which is ridiculous. Yeah. You can see those arrows by the spinner. They'll light up progressively as you keep comboing that. Oh, oh what a dig there. He seems to have the secret of the post pass down, though. <laughs> See the replay yeah. here. Instant replay. Wow. Oh, oh, and Jeff lost it. But he hit the spinner. That's what he needed to do. Yep. Up to 25 20. million. Yeah, it's going to be tough to beat. Guess his T-shirt from Northwest just that Pinball Championship. Okay, <laughs> this should be a game. Just hit the sweater, just enough of the shirt, see if you can figure out what it is. Tries the backhand, the center a little bit early. Nice. There it is. Yeah, I think it's that switch on the side. That's when the target came up. Okay. The the one in the middle. The wow, switch that right one. here. Yeah, that's what it looked like. It went up. It hit that. No, 
he didn't go into an ice pop mode. You get those by completing the drops. He's just going to time this out. Chimney's got leaves. Really unique play fields, but they don't have all these modes that you just <laughs> time out. <laughs> oh, uh, he tried to give it some play off that center post, but no rubber. And right now, Eden is third. We'll see if David has anything to say about that. And now it's player three, Travis. Yeah, we'll see if Travis has anything to say about Jeff Teolis' first place. <laughs> Step bounce. Oh, man. Oof. I cringe when I see that dead flip because these flippers are not the most reliable no. with bass the, the, the of this era. Real Sometimes thin rubber. They'll just die and you'll lose the ball. Nice flip with the upper flipper there. Oh, an actual trap that it, it, it got past the trap. Oh, is he going to double his score again? Oh, He's shaking his I head no. His head. <laughs> no, not this time. No, is he? oh. He's going for it. Oh, my goodness. This will be crazy. I love it. Got to do it. Gotta Go for the glory. It. Yeah. Another glancing blow that doesn't register. Oh, he's got to be close now. Oh, oh, a little bit early. Stay in. Oh, nice save. There we go. One more shot. Do it, Travis. Oh, no, oh, glancing blow. <laughs> I want to see it so bad. Three. Oh, is that it? Two. One, One more. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Oh, oh no. come on. Oh, he got oh. ripped. No. Ripped off. No Robbed. grace period either. And he gets Over. nothing, and I'll like it. Could be worse. Could be double or nothing. True. Lose everything. That <laughs> is a Gottlieb thing also. <laughs> yeah, that would not be good. Ooh, a line of right extra ball. I think that puts it on the purple hamburgers. And now the extra ball is lit on that center target. Unfortunately, every switch changes yeah, the hamburger, so <laughs> we won't get to see that. Nice nudge. Picking back to spinners. No? I think you have to. What do you think we'd catch Jeff right now? Three or four lit spinners? Yeah, three. Good, maybe good rips. Good rips. All right. Oh, and he's in heat wave again. Play for Another. double your score. Do it. Do it, do it, do it. I think he's it. got ten. He's got to get ten. Doing it. He's That's doing two. it. Doing it. What a brave man. Three. Four, five, six. Oh, man. Seven. Oh, wow. Three, two, uh, it. one. Two. I think he got it. He got it. That's amazing. Jumps way 37 <laughs> million. Oh, 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 oh. The guts and it pays off. And yeah, and Jeff Jeff had his chance there and he, he did he not go, go for, for it. it. And the extra ball was lit again, oh, but wow, he'll, he'll take that. He'll take it. That's yeah. amazing. I wow. love it. And I think Gutsy that was play by Travis. actually another feature of the heat wave mode there. He hit that right orbit, and I think that doubled the value of the bullseye as far as get advancing his thermometer. And that's why he got so much progress with that one bullseye shot. Big risk, big reward in the car hop zone. That doesn't <laughs> work. Now, David has a little bit of a mountain to climb here. No. But if he can chop away that spinner. Yep. 
All things are possible with that yeah. spinner lit. And in this match play format, you should really be looking at that. I think it's 11 million as his first goal. Yep. Just doesn't want to be last. Four, uh, it's a four, two, one, zero scoring. So it's taking a zero three games, hurts. Three games, four, two, one, zero scoring. And spinner, a little, a little bit late. late. We'll say it looks fun to shoot, <laughs> just watching it. Yeah, it's like you said, Tom, these uh, Gottlieb layouts, you don't really see anything like them nowadays. Nope. No. Everyone complains about cookie cutter layouts, like you had great layouts. Well, <laughs> different layouts anyway. <laughs> I could say for a newer owner of a game of this era, they were built extremely well, I'll say that. <laughs> They made, they made some good ones in this era. Yeah, and they have the best drop targets of any manufacturer, bar none. Oh. Yikes. Rough bounce there down the middle. Fortunately, David will take a last, but great job to Travis getting the first place there with that really gutsy play. Uh, doubling his score twice. Whew. Unbelievable. Doesn't show Daniele's 270 million. <laughs> That's unbelievable. <laughs> what did he do? Did he just do spinners? I, did he? I, I heard he just I, did spinner. He, yeah, really? no, with him, he probably yeah, he probably just never missed for 20 minutes or something like that. Wow. Uh oh. Am I not supposed to throw any? I don't. I don't have the liquid death. <laughs> They've had a bunch of yeah. Get the liquid death. Official sponsor. There. There you go. <laughs> Thanks, Carl. <laughs> If you're ju uh, just tuning in, you're watching It Never Drains in Southern California, our second Classics tournament, the third day here. Uh, we just finished the first round, the first game of the first round. Uh, stay tuned, we'll have some more pinball action coming. No. I was gonna say, what does the chat say, but I don't. Yeah, unfortunately we don't have access we, to the we, chat we here, don't but. We have access to the chat, but I'm. We've got a great set of games here in these uh, Classics finals, uh, lots of you know, like Car Hop, I don't think many people know know about. I didn't no. certainly didn't know about before no. playing it at Pinball at the Lake, and just a great lineup, really dialed in games. I'm excited to see what's next. Me too. I think it's Rush. No, just let's kidding. go. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that there Ron was and I are Tom. big yes. big fans of the game, right, yes. Ron? How about you, Mike? You like Rush? I do. I do like it. Um, I need to put more time on it, but. The code is really good. I love how all of the modes and the multi balls sort of integrate with the songs, the Rush songs. You know, I think it's really clever. It is. Yeah, they did a really nice job with it. They did. All right. I think we might be going to Supersonic. Ah. Oh, wow. Supersonic uh, is the next pick, huh? Or, or, or uh, the rig is just kind of hanging out. Yeah, it could be. Supersonic is like the it's the anti Steve Ritchie game. It's left flipper <laughs> only. All left flipper all the time. So Ron and Tom, have you had a chance to go to the game lab or the food lab here in Riverside? Food, food lab I have. Yeah. I haven't gone to the game lab. Yeah, I, I have not. Some great food there at the food lab right across the street here in Riverside. Um, and then right across from the food lab is the game lab, which is a really cool arcade. Tons of pinballs there. I think Jim operates a lot of his machines there. What do you mean, like right out here? Yep, right Left across the street. I Okay, I did go to the food lab then, and I didn't even know about the game lab. <laughs> yeah, it's right right across from the game wow. lab, or from the food lab, and the game lab, yeah, great games there. Jim Belcito, Jay Collins operate there. And I think we're about ready to get to the next game. All right. And it is oh, anticipation. And it is super sonic. Oh. There you go. Electronic. One of my favorites. Super sonic. What you want to do on the plunge is get the center lane. 
The center lane lights the spinner. What you'll, I'm guessing all the players will try to do, try to get the center lane. You're going to try to shoot that saucer. There's your multiplier and the lit spinner on the right side, and that's that's basically it. Probably won't see too many people shooting anything on the left side. Oh, good. And if it's on the right flipper, either a tap pass or an alley pass or a post pass to get it over. Nice nudge. He's trying to get control. Yeah, this was playing very fast, very hard to control. Uh-oh, that's uh, trouble. That's gone. He never had control that entire ball. This will definitely be a quicker game than Carl. Oh, yes. <laughs> yep. <laughs> and this game can really be feast or famine if you just can't find that center lane to light that yep. spinner. You can't, can't find spinner. the saucer. Yeah, you can't find a saucer. Your score will be so low. Yeah, and also important, it opens your gate down here to yep. get the ball back into the shooter lane. And he gets ah, center nice. lane. Nice Perfect plunge. plunge. And he's going to get a trap. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Oh, oh, there we okay. go. Here's some go. spins. A little bit early. Nope. I always like to see the decision, like spinner or nice. saucer. Because some people don't go for the saucer at all. They'll just hit the spinner nonstop. I usually like to get some bonus first, uh, use the spinner, hit, hit the rollovers until I get some bonus, and then go for the saucer. Yeah. And the other thing is the spinner is pretty good on this. Yep. Just like all the games here, the spinners are really dialed in. Nice. Oh. Nice. Nice. Good thing he had that gate open. Like that stargazer we saw yesterday. That thing was insane. Nice. And He's got that plunge again. down. Relights the spinner, reopens that gate. Oh, but oh, no left of the game. No. Left out lane's brutal. This will be minimal bonus there. Now we're in the same order as last game. Player three is Travis. He's playing, he's trying the tap pass, seeing if he's going to do it. I'd say go for it. That looks pretty good. That's where I kept plunging it. Left lane. I mean, that's what can be so frustrating sometimes if you just can't find the plunge. Yeah. Can't yeah. make anything happen. And it's hard to find that uh, center, center lane, lane when you're going back up. It reminds me of, what is it called? Strikes and spares? Spares and strikes? Yes. Where you got to keep hitting spares. it up to try to get the one lane over and over, and yep. it can never go there. There's a nice alley pass into the saucer here. Well, get two X for that. Yeah. That's another thing, how to handle the kick out. On some, it comes down, and you can just drop catch it and go in. This one, you can't really do that. Yeah, it looks like he tried, but saw it was heading towards yeah. the tip of the flipper, so flipped it away. All right, let's see if he does that tap pass he was practicing. Mm -hmm. yeah, he tried the alley? Mm -hmm. looks, yeah, it looks like he wants the alley. Uh, but, yeah. Uh, yeah, but he will have 24,000 in bonus there. David, center lane, do we have the center lane? Oh. The game is designed, too, for it to be difficult. Because <laughs> it actually goes down from the center. Right. Oh, oh and he oh, had oh, it lit. That's a that, oh. Hate to see that. You get the center lane in immediate drain. You don't even get a chance. Jeff getting under control here. Let's see if he does a tap or an alley pass. Either. Oh, just he, sends it. Yeah. Nice dead pass. All right. Saucer or spinner? Spinner. spinner and but oh, not a clean a weird, shot. Yeah. Weird little caught up on the gate. All right. Will he. Send it up top again, try try a tap pass. He's thinking. Post pass. No, we try, try, the, alley try pass. the alley pass. Yeah. There, there it is. Go. 
Uh oh, oh. Yeah, I saw that coming. That's at least two drains that were kind of below the slings, if you will. Nope. Just trying to get control of the ball and end up draining. All right, Eden Stam currently in the lead here. Let's see if he can find the plunge again. Yeah, he's really had that dialed in ball one. And oh, oh it's close. Oh. Walked it over. Tried to nudge it in, but no luck. But he does complete the one, two, three, four, five. Yeah. Some good bonus. He hits the drop target, which doesn't go down. <laughs> Thank you, Bally. <laughs> Some nice bumper love there up nice. through the rollovers into the saucer. 3x now. Everything's going his way right now. Let's see how he approaches this. Ah, he just he actually shoots it. Oof. Nice. There we go. Oh, trying to flick it up, backhand it. Now somebody told me you could backhand the saucer into the into wow, the pops. Wow, really? Okay. Yeah. I'd love to see that. I'd love to see that. I wasn't going to risk it, but. Into the waterfall. So I, I, try, I try to avoid that just because it generally puts it right into the sling. Right. Maybe Eden was just trying to see what the feed was like to see uh, if maybe it would have worked out. Yeah. Nice drop, nice drop catch. catch there. So he's got his bonus maxed 20,000 uh, 20, with the 3x, 60,000. He could get the 5x Whoa. if he gets mm. in the saucer. Nice Somehow save. Somehow keeps that ball alive. Oh. <laughs> Great saves here by Eden. Nice nudge. Look at this. Okay. He this went for the saucer. Aiming for that saucer. Phenomenal flipper skills. He's gonna get a clean shot here. Oh, goes for the spinner. Nice. And there's center lane. That's off. huge. Oh, oh, he almost oh, had the five X. He hit it too hard. It was too clean. Stay in. Oh, the nice. gate is open because he had just got that too. Yep. It'll turn off a spinner, but he can relight it going down that center. And oh. love, love to see him get that saucer for the 5x too. Nice dead bounce there to get that spinner shot. Nice. Yeah. I was going to say Beautiful. my prediction after all the rejects <laughs> is it would just bounce in, and that's what it did. All right, sitting at 100,000 in bonus now. So I, I, at this point, you got to get in your head. Don't tilt. Right. <laughs> all right, great, great ball. ball. Awesome. If you want to know how to play supersonic? You just saw it. And the cool thing is it counts up really slow, so you get to enjoy. <laughs> you get to bask it's in your like, awesome play. It's kind of like Lost World might be the only one that's slower. <laughs> and it's great you get your opponent has to stand there yes. and watch your bonus <laughs> count up. Our player three, Travis, is trying to Dial in that plunge. Doesn't quite get it. But to a cradle on the left, but it's on sitting on the flipper. He bats it into the spinner. <laughs> no. Oh, no. I was gonna get stuck there for a second. Nice alley pass there on the fly. Nice save. Thank you, in lane. Woo. Get in there. There you go. Nice. Beautiful. All right, now he's got a five catch. 
Feeling comfortable get up there, with get the up there. Uh -oh. pass. Uh -oh. no. no, it's really stuck. He's not going to have to nudge that out. Time to get a TD. Oh, come on, not even a cursory little 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 love <laughs> tap? Like, nope, just I'm nope. not trying it. Okay. Yeah, there is money on the line now, so. That is true. You get that rolling when you can. I love when it's between the in lane and out lane, and the ruling is, I can drain it for you if you would like. <laughs> oh, oh, here it comes. There it goes. It All right, so Jim must have said, tap those flippers. It'll come out. <laughs> nice lit spinner shot there. Oh, oh down the middle. But that was a nice ball from Travis. Yeah. Puts him solidly into second place. David's going to try to play catch up here. Crosses it up into the waterfall. Is that the actual name of the shot? I don't, I don't know. I just call it the water. I guess it's, what is it's, it's, we paragoning. It's the waterfall. The jet stream. It's a valley. Yeah, it says jet stream there, so I guess that's okay. the proper name. <laughs> oh, nice. All right, gets back into a trap here. Oh, oh right now. just a little it. too high on yeah. the uh, alley pass there. A little too soon. And these flipper skills <laughs> aren't easy, especially no. in a tournament setting. The alley pass is always the scariest thing to try because the ball's almost draining while you do it. For me, I, I, I would see the tap pass as more dangerous. Yeah. Oh, oh wow. House ball there for Jeff. Yeah, he's going to unfortunately take last here and get a zero. Staying at two points. And uh, Eden has a great opportunity to get first here, get four points out of this. Been playing this game great. Dead bounce. Gets a clean shot. A little bit oh. late and pays for it. But a great game from Eden. Absolutely. You know, and Travis has got to be thinking if he passes Eden, he's moving on. With that eight is points. True. For the purposes of the stream, we don't want that. <laughs> Why not? Yeah, we want the drama. <laughs> we want the drama. <laughs> All right. <laughs> but it said on the thing they gave me when I was doing the announcing to not, you know, root for any players I'm or not anything. I'm rooting for so Travis. <laughs> <laughs> or root for what I just said either. <laughs> it's just making a point. Mm -hmm. The alley pass on the fly. Yep. Work He's, out. Out He's trying to get that initial trap. There, there, there we is. go. He did practice the tap pass before, but he must have not have liked what he felt and just like, no, I'm not doing that. I think a lot of players feel like you do, Tom, where the alley feels nice. safer than the tap. Yeah. Yeah, sometimes on, on some games, the tap pass can get squirrely and uh, Paragon? Yeah. <laughs> I drained on this one trying to tap. I did not have it down. All right, Travis is going for it. He's up to 150,000. At this point, you start thinking about the bonus X. Yep. He's over 10,000 in bonus. 
All right, let's look at the seat and alley pass. Oh, oh perfect. Great. That's about as good as you can do it. Full try. Nice spinner nice shot. rip there. Yeah, right now he's got the lift spinner, gates open. Beautiful. Uh, he's got that down. He's Good sticking spin. with the spinner. Yeah, sometimes you almost hope the uh, pop bumper just throws it right into the, uh, the saucer there. I mean, he, he might have been watching Eden earlier and the saucer just wasn't sticking, so no. keep it safe. There you go. There you go. There you go. So and I think with 40. the bonus there, that will that'll do it. But put him ahead of Eden. But David, David still has a ball in hand. That's right. And don't forget David. And this is definitely a one-ball game, so he can come. David could come back here and play spoiler and take first. Not by much there. Yeah, by a hair. <laughs> All right, come on, David. Thing is, it's not one person who moves on, it's two people who move on. Correct. So if Travis gets the eight, that means it's going to be a tighter with the other three players. Uh, had to send that. Oh, uh, no love. No. But I'll get a point. Well, it's going to be uh, Eden at uh, three, Jeff is still at two, and David at one. So really, yep. anybody else can still move on. It's going to be a battle for the second spot. Yep. Congratulations to Travis for moving on. I think he's guaranteed to move on now. Yep. And yep. Yeah, battle for second. And who's the high seed? Is it Jeff Diolis? Yeah, Jeff. So Jeff, Jeff, Jeff picked those games. Jeff so let's see pick. what Jeff picks for game number three. And just to uh, quickly go over the tournament format, just in case anyone's not familiar, it's 4-2-1-0 scoring. First place gets four points, second place two points, third place one point. Three games in a round, and yeah. top two move on. High seed gets to pick game or position, so Jeff is going to, we'll see what game he picks. What do you think? What do you think we'll see for the next round? Oh, I don't know. The other rule is the, Check out what Jeff had. the picker cannot pick the same game at oh, any point yeah. in the tournament. So you yeah, do have which to, makes it tough, yeah, you know. Got to be a little strategic about your picks. Because yeah. I know yesterday, Danielli picked those games at the beginning. In the last few matches, he was just picking order at that point. Because you can defer and just say, I just want to go last, or first, or set, whatever, wherever you want to go. The other thing is we have to wait for the uh, the other groups to finish. If it's like yesterday, how many groups is it? Seven? Eight? Eight groups? I think it's eight groups of four. Yeah, 32 players. Yeah, eight yeah. groups of four. There are no buys. Yeah, big brackets. So they all play their game one, and they all play their game two. So we have to wait for uh, everyone to finish their game two. Yeah, we'll wait. see. We might be able to hop into a game in Happen progress to another here. game, yeah. yeah. I know Ron wants to see stars. <laughs> There's no way stars is still going on. <laughs> it is on five balls. It is in this on five ball, which is pretty rare. So when you get your I usual think. two to three house balls, <laughs> you actually get to play at least two balls. You get to play some pinball. Yep. <laughs> I thought it was the fairest stars you could ever play. Jeff had some good scores on hot dog, and so I wouldn't uh. be surprised seeing that. To see some wide body action really wide ultra wide <laughs> get some inline drops inline drops hot dog and skiing fun skiing <laughs> skiing mustaches you got to have mustaches oh yeah in the, in the late 70s if you're just tuning in you're watching in disc 2023 i'm mike welsh i'm ron hallett and i'm tom Graff. So yeah. what games could he pick? What is the game selection in here? What games might, might we see this stream, even though I know some no one will ever pick and we will not see, but 
I what, feel what like we we'll got? see some cheetah. I feel like we were going to see some cheetah. People like cheetah. There, and there was a meta with cheetah that people were using that you, you'll get to see. Paragon, maybe? Paragon? Oh, man, Paragon. I'd love to see Paragon. That's always exciting on stream. Yeah, it is. Games like like Surfers. I've never <laughs> heard of that game before. I've heard of all the other like Surf City, Surf Champ, Surf and Safari, games. which is I, back there. I, I, I never heard of just Surfers. It almost looks like it says Surfer with a little lowercase little S, S for yeah. no reason. Almost like they made Surfer realize there was another game called that. Like, oh crap, <laughs> put an S on it. Yeah, but but in lowercase. Lowercase. Because <laughs> they couldn't fit it in the art. <laughs> got bow and arrow, uh, abracadabra, which I I, I kind of like that game. It is a neat game. Yeah, that's a great game. Good very tournament game very too. challenging. Yep. But not horribly brutal. I felt like I actually no. could. Aladdin's Castle? Aladdin's Castle? I did not I have good luck I on that game. I did not play that game. Hmm. Pool Sharks? That'd Front. be fun to see on stream. Yeah, pool Front. Sharks. Pool Sharks are my, like, classics. Pool Sharks? <laughs> Just go with it. Go with it. Frontier, possibly? Oh, Frontier. That got That was... Is a fairly floaty, floaty frontier. Jungle Princess is Jungle always Princess. Friend. Another Fun. classic. That's good. You hit uh, kill monkeys <laughs> for some reason. Poor monkeys. <laughs> uh, sea Ray. Sea Ray. Ah. If anyone watched the, uh, was it Expo yeah, Final yeah. from from two years ago? Two uh, years ago. Last yeah, last year. Not even last year. It was 2021. Was it? Oh no, yeah, you're no, right. It was last year. I'm bad with. It's okay. We'll let, we'll let it slide. Oh, sorry. <laughs> yeah, they had a sea ray there, and it completely like didn't work. And then it started to slowly start working as, this, as the <laughs> tournament went on. It was the weirdest thing. It was like it was like Christine, the movie that repaired itself. <laughs> it's the machine that repairs itself. <laughs> uh, they've decided to drag in Grand Lizard from... Uh, no, I'm just kidding. No. <laughs> God. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I don't mind Grand Lizard. It just it just it just plays it just long. plays too long, and it's basically the upper play field is just taken from Solar Fire. It's like the same thing. Have uh, either of you had a chance to put in some cards in the open? Uh, I think I put yeah. three in, and I, I I think they were all bad. <laughs> I, I put in quite a few, and yes, they were. I can finally look at uh, You have to really, really blow up the games. It's tough. I mean, it's very tough. Five good games of pinball? Are you serious? Consistently, you can have one stinker, but you better have <laughs> four really good ones if you're going to have a stinker. It's tough. In the chat, we have Dalton Pinball talking about tap passing. He's pretty good at tap passing, that Dalton. I love tap passing. It's one but of the cooler looking things. Yeah. I think we're going to see car hop again. I see Carl, uh, Eric Stone is currently on it. You can hear the flippers oh, going. Okay. Uh, yeah, but if we're waiting for Eric Stone, it could it be could 20 be, minutes. It, it could, could be, be a minute. 20 minutes. <laughs> I'm not exaggerating in any way. It literally could be 20 minutes. Let's see here. For those who haven't seen Eric Stone, if, if he has a game that he dominates, he really dominates. And that group is Eric Stone. Uh, Eric's, oh, that can't be right. I'm looking at the wrong classic, sorry. You're looking I'm at classics I'm one? Uh, I'm fired. <laughs> You'd be fired if you weren't hired. Yeah, that's true. I haven't seen my pay. <laughs> <laughs> so that group is insane. It has Kaylee George, Colin McAlpine, Eric Stone, and Andy Bagwell. Holy cow. They played pool sharks. Uh, Colin took first, Eric Stone second, Andy third. First or third, excuse me, and uh, Kaylee took a last. And like I said, currently they're on car hop. And Carl is moving the rig into place. We are going to see car hop again. Some more spinner. S stream is thinking my 20-minute uh, prediction is wrong, and it'd be more like, like an hour. <laughs> <laughs> well, mm -hmm. Eric has stopped play. Okay. And Colin uh, looks like Colin McAlpine's on it, and Carl's coming back over here and we'll we'll be on that in just a minute i was watching some of the the youth tournament <laughs> from <laughs> carl from, is shaking from his from head he's shaking his head <laughs> <laughs> let's go to the hop let's oh god oh. 
for our Beyond Boomer audience. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Get some more hamburgers. More burgers. They are on ball leaves. one, everybody. Oh, my, oh, my goodness. goodness. <laughs> so, <Gracious>. yes. <laughs> Eric Stone with 79 you know, million. He might <laughs> roll this. I, I'm looking at Carl. I warned him about Car Hop before <laughs> we started. Well, Carl, it, it was either that or Grand Lizard. Oh. Uh, uh, yeah, we we tried to get him to throw the game out, but the four, four players could, did not oh, agree. Oh, wow. So did you see that? Yeah, I, I saw it. It was boom. Yeah. But he's going to get the ball back here because oh. this game has a feature. If it's going through the loop, it'll, it'll light the out lane for a ball yeah, save. Yeah, it was, ah. it was lit there, wasn't yeah. it? Good programming. Good job, <laughs> Godly. Yeah, play pinball forever. Yeah, you could see that out yeah, lane light there for a second. That. that is nice. Anything to extend this game longer, right? <laughs> <laughs> I apologize, folks. At, at some point, we're going to run out of things to say about Garha. <laughs> I do like the different flavored ice pops up there. It's like you got cherry. Hamburgers, <laughs> I mean, who doesn't like hamburgers? <laughs> there was a nice alley pass there from Colin to get the ball into the left flipper. Nice right, just nudge. gets a single warning there. Yeah, things I would fix with Gottlieb. I would change that warning sound because it, it <laughs> literally sounds like you, you've broken the game. Like I, I think it. that might have been the idea. <clears throat> All right, Colin's going to go spinner. Oh, oh late. Just late. Yeah. I'm still amazed that Gottlieb had one of the best flipper designs ever made. And then they switched to this, <laughs> one of the worst flipper designs ever made. I heard that the, that was actually a John Borg design? Yeah, supposedly it was a John Borg design. Sorry, John. <laughs> <laughs> All I know is, is um, and we might see a trap up here. No, he, John Norris, who designed this game, he actually, I'm, I'm on another podcast, Silverball Chronicles, and we went over Gottlieb, and he actually sent us an email saying he agrees that the flipper time is horrible. <laughs> 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 and he lobbied to have it changed to something better. Oh. So that's the designer who didn't like it. <laughs> so he's going to time out the mode. <laughs> Looking exasperated. Mode, time out <laughs> excitement. Andy Too Bagwell hot. laughing in the background. There you go. I have an idea for Keith, a feature. Keith Elwin and Travis looking on. If you do some kind of pattern with the flipper, you can get it to count faster so you can get through it. That would be cool. That feature. would be nice. I don't want this. I'm just. He has the hamburgers in a row, though, so he's probably going to shoot that. Yep, there he goes. Select a feature. You're going to do bullseye. Line them up. Oh. Three points. Line them up. <laughs> he has okay. no idea what he, he got. No idea what he got. He re-lined up the hamburgers. But oh, and he, he, did not, he did not get the kick and out right tilted. there. Yeah. He Un is confused. Unfortunately. Easy. We call that Gottlieb confusion. <laughs> Nobody knows what's going on. Unfortunately, that hands. is pinball. 32 million, 33 million, 79 million. That's got to be Eric Stone. Yes. So did I hear that right? That Carl said uh, two players got the catch-up feature during yes. this game. Oh wow! Yep. So that's why the scores yep. are so obscene right now. Oh. All right, Kaylee George getting ready here with the classic band maneuver shirt. There's a uh, Johnny maneuver. Mnemonic in high stakes, which has the sign. Band maneuver, Band maneuver, Kaylee George. I got to see it. <laughs> <Did you? laughs> yeah. He called it before he did it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> at uh, Pinball at the Lake, there was uh, signs on all of the games listing all the maneuvers that were banned because of Kaylee, and he was taking pictures of them all. <laughs> yes. <laughs> but on Johnny yeah. DeMai, I remember before he even shot, he said, like, okay, reveal for the first time, and then he started doing it, <laughs> and then he broke the game. <laughs> uh. Kaylee's just such a phenomenal player. Oh, absolutely. Just a, a wealth of knowledge. 
the thing is, if you look, his his match play record has to be just excellent. Oh yeah, he's one of the best match players I've ever seen. He almost always ends up in at least semifinals, finals of almost everything. And at this point, all well, the young kids today, he's an elder statesman of <laughs> players. <laughs> There's that level two spinner. All right. Heat way. Play for three million. I don't think he's going to no. play that. No. Not for three million. No. And I guess the three million versus double your score is just random. There's some more godly randomness. Just got to pray that you get double your score if you need that. Trying to get the ball oh. under control here. Oh. Wow. Oh. Wow. What? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I, that was kind of like. I playing. wish we had a replay of that. That was like playing with it a little too much and then recovering. <laughs> Somehow recovering. Somebody, no. somebody <laughs> clip that eyebrow. Yeah, someone clip that. Our, our director is not at his post. <laughs> oh, that was classic. I would have drained three different ways Whoa, during that yes. whole sequence. What a great save by Kaylee. I can't believe these center post actually work. I think Kaylee <laughs> was just bored and like, I'm just gonna flip around. Trying to get that mystery award. Back to the spinner. Nope, didn't quite get that loop. All right, select the feature. Oh, oh my oh. God, no! So this is going to oh. instantly throw it out. <laughs> throw Kaylee's it score out. Oh. to 79. Oh. Yeah. Wow. That's so wrong. It didn't even do it to the, oh. the next closest person. So all you have to do is go to the scoop? Oh. Yeah, there's random modes there. Now I'm upset because I got that feature, but it only caught me up to the person who was ahead of me, not the first place person. Wow. Well, we wanted the drama. Oh. I think we got the drama. Oh. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I give you Gottlieb. Well, ketchup is my favorite condiment. I guess the idea for those, that feature was if you had two people playing, you know, like a couple playing, and one was way better than wow. the other. They were probably not they, thinking they could catch, One could catch <laughs> up to the other one. That was the actual idea for that feature. They probably weren't thinking uh, three world championship yeah. players were going to be on the game. The thing know. is, you can't turn it off. <laughs> you have to hack the software. Oh. Uh, well, well, he I definitely mean, catched up. He caught up. <laughs> oh, man. And this is only ball two. <laughs> we could have more catch ups. Do you think Andy wants a ketchup? I mean, you, <laughs> might, you gotta go for it. I love ketchup. <laughs> nice spinner rip. Andy's always great to watch. He's very animated. Does something good and gives himself a high five. Self high five. Wow. Yep. What a chill maneuver off that center post. That was awesome. All right, Heat Wave, play for double your score. <laughs> will he do Is it, he Travis gonna do Fury? It? Will he do it? Or will he just hold on? He's going for it. Yes. There's two. Four. Oh, Another chill post. maneuver. How does that even work with no rubber? Ding, ding, ding. Six. He's got to get it now after those center posts. Oh, he deserves oh. it. No, don't drink. 10 seconds. Eight. It's got to be close. Two more. I'm sticking down. Five, four. <laughs> Good patience. Three. One last shot. Is that it? I think he did it. That's no, nine. one last shot. He's got to hurry. 10. Please, please, game. Oh. He had to be. No, he must have, have needed so 12. Close. Yeah. Oh. All right, catch up, catch up, catch He's up. It's open. Is that where oh, there is there. Oh, no. There. Oh, no. <laughs> Too He's much laughing flipping. about it. <laughs> Just, <does> he? <laughs> He's kicking himself. 
Does it like do uh, a weird thing when you're going through? Because it looks like it's yeah. As long as the flipper button is down, it's cycling. So oh. it cycles very, very quickly. Oh, he's got okay. a question mark though. Yeah, after the heat wave, the modes are relit on the saucers. So, oh, look at the backhand. Catch up. Try again. Catch up. Oh, 1,000. Oh, oh, wow. <laughs> we have a catch up award Such and a, a 1,000 <laughs> award. <laughs> and I oh. believe the switch hits cycle, whether it's the question mark or select a feature. So that was a little bit of bad luck there that it was on the question mark. Oh. All right, back to spinner. Oh, oh didn't like it around. No. What's a dead bounce over? He's going to drop catch it. Oh, oh, nice. oh, oh, out of control. Like it's going to go to the tip. All right. No, yeah. yeah. I like that move there. Hold the flipper up. Post pass. Worked. And spinner time. That big long shot kind of reminds me of Ooh, that oh, was a huge right. move. Two dangers. It stays up. Whew. I was saying that shot there kind of reminds me of like Vegas. Or actually, there's a lot of Gottliebs that have that long loop of shot. A little late on the spinner. Up for you. <laughs> Great effort there from so Andy. Close yet so far. Rooting for him to get that double. Yeah. Is this ball three or ball two? This <laughs> ball two. Ball two. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Ball two continues. And we have Eric Stone. Current IFPA champion. I think Eric needs to be more intense. <laughs> <laughs> Now, can you get the doubler or catch up on the heat wave then? Uh, the heat wave is just the double your score or three million. I think those are the okay. two options. Okay. There's nice. a nice spinner rip. Even more. The misses it there, has to go back through the loop. Balls into the saucer. Play, play for three million. Probably not going to do that. No, probably not. Well, if you need to get a soda or water, this would be a good time. <laughs> you have yeah, it is 15, a lot of time. Seconds. 15 seconds. Ignite death rays. 15 seconds. I mean, speaking of wrong game, heat waves. It was kind of rainy here today. Yeah. Yeah. Side. yeah. No heat wave here. I thought it never rains in Southern California. It just never <laughs> drains in Southern California. It just California. never drains. These are all fallacies. Well, with Eric Stone playing, it certainly never drains. Let me tell you, it definitely drains. All right, back into normal play. On the post transfer, try to hit that loop. To the out lane. All right. But Eric mm -hmm. with a narrow lead after that, those catch ups. Colin, catch -ups. Colin definitely Colin wants a catch up. Wants yeah. a catch up. <laughs> yeah, he's going to be aiming. He might even uh, start his heat wave on purpose to get his modes lit on the saucer to try to get that catch up. And there's the heat wave. And we'll get to wait a while. Interestingly, more than double his score at this point. Good music. 
going to let this time out. <laughs> <laughs> you notice that it's not actually 10 seconds? Because if you count it, Colin, eight, long Colin. seven, six, five, four. It's pinball seconds. <laughs> They're like movie seconds. <laughs> <laughs> Colin apologizing to us. Not your fault. Yeah, you didn't pick the game. So now you apologize. <laughs> His saucers are lit now if he wants to try for that for a mode for a catch up. Catch bar. up. You can just go for the spinner. No, catch up. He needs to catch up. You guys are making me hungry. <laughs> He's there going go. for it. There we go. Let's see. I want to see it. I want to see it. <laughs> Catching up to player two. two. All right. See, you didn't catch. We just got a real match. <laughs> oh, my oh, goodness. All right. That just put Andy in a predicament. The entire game is just people <laughs> doing catch up over and over. Whoever gets the last catch up is going to win. I mean, it, I know we're joking about it, but that was a that, smart tournament yeah. decision right there. <laughs> knowing right. that, Seeing that's an option and all the play other players taking advantage of it. All right. I wonder if he can do it twice in one ball. <laughs> I mean, his left saucer is still lit here. <laughs> yeah, I was just going to say. That. I'm thinking it, if they were trying to get this thrown out while the game was going on. I'm thinking <laughs> after the game is over, it may be thrown out. It may be. No. No. It can't. It can't, Carl it can't. says. Okay. Ooh, so so Carl, Carl did say it cannot be removed if they're playing well on it. So. So unfortunately there, Colin taking a tilt, but he did get that catch up. And we have a ball three to play. <laughs> All right. Okay. It just got more interesting. Damn fairness. <laughs> <laughs> it really is. It's like, this is playing long. Pull it. <laughs> These guys are just too good. Yeah. All right, Kaylee. Taking off the jacket. Yeah, he's a little, oh, he's warm. Oh dear. He's warm. It's it, a heat it, wave. Yeah, it sure ain't warm in here, I'll tell you. <laughs> <laughs> nice spinner shot. Nice tip over, but a little swirly. There we go. Gets it under control. Heat wave. All right, spinner. No, not quite. Just not. Uh, oh, he let it come all the way. He's getting that drop up there. Yeah, there that, it is. That right shot is actually a little bit tight. Yeah. These players make it look easy, but it's tough to get it all the way around to that drop target. There it is. Spinner is 200,000 to spin, but not a clean rip there. Mm -hmm. Still lit. Still lit. Huge points. Play for three million. <laughs> <laughs> he just hit a spinner for about ten million, so <laughs> don't think he'll play this. Sponsored by Downtown Pinball League. I once got to play a Sopranos that had the plunger removed, thanks to Kaylee, in one of his exploits. <laughs> and I was in Pinburg, and guess who was in my group? Kaylee was in my group. <laughs> I was feel it, like, I feel oh, like telling them Rip, this is your fault. Ripley's, believe it or not? No, it was a uh, Sopranos. Ah. Same deal with the play field validation stuff. I just love how they're not true seconds at all. <laughs> three, 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 three. Yeah, two. two. Mystery lit there. He doesn't need to catch up to anybody. That's the problem. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Just realize that. 
I wonder if that would break the game if you pick that. If he gave you as an option, <laughs> it takes away points. What he really wants to do is roll it and then catch up. <laughs> yeah. oh, oh, right? Man, that would be hilarious. Am I right? I want to see that. I hope we see uh, that. Yeah. <laughs> Might as well see that at this point. I wonder if he's thinking. He's got to be he thinking that. He could be thinking that. Oh. oh. Nice ball there from Haley. Because he would think, like, would that break the game? That would be great. <laughs> Man, Popu no one's entering their initials. The popular AAA. <laughs> like the Heat Wave champion was AAA. All the champs were <laughs> AAA. All right, Andy's going to step up. Sopranos exploit. <laughs> I believe it's the deal where you can, what, soft plunge, you hit the drop target, which doesn't count as actually play foul validation. You can That's lock right. the ball, doesn't count as play foul validation. Soft plunge, just repeat. And a player like Kaylee can just do that all to day. To do that all day. So they, you just remove the plunger entirely, so you, you hit the flippers and it will launch it, which will hit something that will validate the play foul. All right, what Andy wants to do here is get past Colin and then get some ketchup. <laughs> <laughs> I love that this is a strategy. Oh. Right now he's got heat wave lit, or he might just go for the spinner. Oh, nice. Play for three million. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so one thing I noticed, there are these hot dog inserts under the bullseye, and each time you hit the bullseye, it lights a hot dog. And I don't really know what that does exactly. Maybe Sorry. nothing. Maybe it lights it for a million if you get all three hot dogs. I'm not sure. Seven. Yeah, basically every second is actually two seconds in the Gottlieb world. Five, five, four, four. There is no grace period in Gottlieb's world, too, so maybe that's their. We'll make our seconds longer for you. All right, let's see it. Here we go. Catch up, catch up, catch up, catch up, catch up. Don't go past, Don't it, go again, past it again. So he didn't get oh, the game didn't, didn't want to cooperate, me. but no. he, he could get the up to 10 million here, as we talked about earlier. I, I don't know if he'll go for it. No. Oh yeah, I saw that. Down there, that's interesting. Drop. Drop. No spinners now. Yeah, up the middle. Gonna try again. Mystery. Catch up. Something good. <laughs> Catch One up. thousand oh. points. Oh. Uh, all right. All right, Andy in third place by hair right now. Over Colin. And player three is Eric Stone trying to catch Kaylee's 94 million. That could just be one spinner. Right? Yeah, really, right? Yeah. Right off the plunge. We'll see. Stretching it out. Side here. stretch there. Early. Whoa. Oh, wow. nice. Nice use of the post with no rubber on it. Play for three yeah. million. No. <laughs> mm. 
Yeah, we've also got a nice free play section here at the uh, tournament for yeah. people to practice or play some other games, other people not playing in the tournament. James Bond is here. Yeah. Legends of Valhalla. Is here. But more importantly, Heavy Metal Meltdown is here. <laughs> yeah. Hit the flipper buttons, get those sweet guitar heavy, licks. Heavy. Metal, metal. <laughs> All right, back to where regularly scheduled pinball machine. <laughs> oh, oh, he went for the saucer, oh. and he paid for it. No, oh. that was so weird to see him ball go <laughs> quickly. Wow. Yeah. All right, Colin could catch Andy and then catch up to Eric and then catch up to Kaylee. <laughs> You ever think the uh, tournament organizers just secretly are be like, please break game, please, please <laughs> something break on it. <laughs> and we'll just lie. We, we, we can't, we can't. <laughs> <laughs> Carl said secretly. <laughs> like a flipper bat breaks. Oh, we, we can't fix it. Like you don't oh, have any. No. Oh, no. Thankfully, Car Hop has. You, you got it? Okay. Mercy on he, us, and wow, he wanted, he wow. Wanted, over there. He wanted to steal that oh. one point from Andy. But uh, Andy is not out. Well, nice Just job to yet. Kaylee there getting that first Ooh. place. And I don't know if we'll see more car hop in the future. We're going to see more car hop. <laughs> we will uh, definitely see guarantee. more car hop. We'll say at least that was a little bit entertaining. <laughs> The catch up was do, entertaining. Do yes. you think the market value of Car Hop has now has gone skyrocketed? up? Skyrocketed? Yes. I, I don't think so. Those no. pinball prices. No. 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 <laughs> not not <laughs> like Mystery Castle last year. <laughs> Mystery Castle. It's behind us. Yes. Or hoops. Hoops? Hoops. That did go up. Yeah. yeah. Everyone wants a hoops. You know all the uh, the good ones. I, I well, hoops know. is a. Yeah, that's a solid, solid Actually, game. Actually, a lot of the street levels got really good play fields. Some, mm. some of them have really bad rules. <laughs> like, uh, what is it, one? Slugger? Uh, Super Slugger? Silver Slugger? Silver Slugger? Yeah. It's like all the game is just you, you hit, what is it? They're all mysteries. But the play field shoots great. Rules are not the best. We just need someone to make some nice custom code for some of these old games. Yeah, <laughs> there you go. And get permission from Gottlieb somehow. They're very stingy about their rights, so. That's what part of the thing I like about In This a lot is you see a lot of these games you don't really see everywhere. And they really do a good job of like trying to bring in these oddball games that, you know, it, it's a lot of fun sometimes. Sometimes it doesn't work out like car op and you, people start to learn the exploits. But it's I really appreciate getting to see these games you don't really get to see everywhere. When was the last time you saw, what is it, Street Fighter 2 back there? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> At District 82, but yeah. but it's gone. Surf and Safari, which is running a custom. Oh, there's the other game I thought we would see a lot of, and here it is. It is. Cheetah. We're going to get to see the meta, I think. Now, there's the way I usually play Cheetah, and then there's the way they discovered to play Cheetah, which is much safer, <laughs> which is basically you just hit the left okay. orbit. An exploit at a pinball tournament? Continuously. And, th and this has the special ROM that if you ever played at Pinburg or Papa, it had where the bonus collect is only lit once per ball on the left, so you can't just spam it over and over. That was the original meta, the original way. Because hmm. you could get uh, like a 100K bonus and just hit the left and collect it over and over and over and over. So then they nerfed that. But I guess they discovered, I mean, when you hit the left side, you'll see it when the play fills up. It'll drop the targets. Yeah, it spots you the targets. Spots you the targets Good on points. the one through five, and it'll just keep safe lighting beat. things, and it's <laughs> safe. The only variant on it, I know some people were hitting the left, and then they would hit the three bank until they could get the um, multiplier up to 5x because it's carrying over. As soon as we see the play field, get the telestrator up. There we go. All right. Here's Cheetah. So you see on the, the target bank at the very top is for your multiplier. But the target, the three bank on the right, if you hit it, I think the second time it starts spotting multipliers. 
Oh, yeah. We're going to see the meta. Here we go. Doesn't quite hit the roll over there, but gets the ski jump. I saw Kaylee in qualifying do this for about 20 minutes straight. Yep. So yep. I think we're in for a ride here. So did Andy pick this? Uh, oh, because he's first? Yeah. Would Teolis have deferred? Oh, Teolis oh, no. isn't in this group. Oh, no, yeah. I'm, we're sticking with this group. I'm nope. I was confused. We were following the one group. Now we're following the other group. That's all right. Oh, oh shake it, shake it. Oh. oh. Couldn't get it out. It was rattling. And that was not a tilt. Yeah, that didn't tilt. Yeah. Tilt is very loose on this. Uh, yes, with, with this collection of players, yes, we're going to see the meta. We're going to see this. And it, it's not easy. That that left lane is... Yeah, I couldn't do it. Yeah, it, it rattles, and you really have to get a clean shot to get a, to go over that rollover. The game, the, the way the game wants you to play it is actually to shoot those one through five targets in order. Which is very dangerous. Or you could just hit those rollovers, hit the yeah, end lanes. But and these players say, <laughs> no, we're not going to do that. <laughs> There you go. All right, here we go. And they're raising the left flipper just to get that upper flipper out of the way. There we go. Two Boom, spots. Spot, spot. Another spot from the end lane. And you can just roll it up, bounce it over, keep going. Oh, he's trying. Oh, wow. Wow. <laughs> and no still did not tilt. Yep. I mean, good efforts to, to try to get it out. And when you see yeah. it rattling, that's always good. Once they get into a groove, though, we're gonna we're gonna be here a while. Oh, wow! Nice, nice save. Nice. the other thing these players see those attempts to save the ball and like wow that didn't tilt i wonder how far i can take it <laughs> <laughs> instantly tilts whenever well, I hopefully try. the machine doesn't tip over it seems like eric's trying to do an alley pass here yeah on the yeah. feed whereas uh, kaylee was trying to do a ski jump nice oh nice save yeah. oh there's the oh, tilt there's the okay tilt. found it so you can do the wicked shimmy, but if you actually slide it, you will tilt. Cheetah was the, I think, second stern wide body. Big game first Big one? Big game was the first one. We got both of them here. Both designed by Harry Williams. Well, he's aiming for the yeah, drop. He's going for the three, the three bank. That suits two, two purposes. It raises your, uh, your bonus. If you complete it the second time, it starts upping your multiplier. Especially on ball one, that's important. If you can get the multiplier up, it's carrying over on the this game. They have it mm. set to carry over. There it is. So see how the X now? Yeah. There's a little green insert. That's telling you that, okay, this will increase your multiplier now if you complete it. You can also increase your multiplier with those targets on the top, but Ooh, hardly nice. ever up there. So we're seeing some variations on the strategy. So he's got the 2x, now he's got 3x. Uh oh. And that will hold over. So then when he starts doing the other strategy, the rest we're doing, he'll be getting collects at 5x if he can get it up that high. That's like 500k. He's got the bonus looks like maxed, or near maxed already. Okay, he's gonna start going that way. Oh. Nice save. Don't tilt. But see, going for the bank puts you in a little more danger. He's, he's not quite in the control. 
but I think he's happy with 3x, so he's just going to start doing yeah. that now. So now that his bonus is higher, he wants to complete that one, two, three, four, five to light his bonus collect on the left, yep. and that in lane just did it for him. Yep. He wants to hit that left lane now, and there we go. Oh, he's got okay. He wants more. He didn't want to take it. He wants. He wants it all. More. Yeah. Oh, nice, nice dig. Oh. Uh, oh, he paid for it, but I, I, I like to see that. He, he wanted more, bonus. but that, that three X will carry over. Yep. All right, going into ball two. Now, if you're wondering what, what are those drop targets in the upper right? That's, that's the grid. No one is going to go for that. <laughs> but if you can actually get three across. It will give you different awards depending on the color. Yeah. I believe uh, two of them light your spinners, which I, I do think that carries over. So yeah, do you it depends on the it? setting. Ah. But being that they have the other thing carrying over, they probably have said that that's carry over. All right, here's the strat. Wow, a clean shot all the way through. Now <laughs> imagine that strat with an endless collect. <laughs> if this was the stock software that the game comes with, that's what you would see. They would just collect over and over. So if they had 5x with full bonus, it would be 500k just continuously. Looks like there's a special on the uh, left out lane. Yeah, I don't know if that's uh, worth anything, but it's worth points. Okay. I don't remember how many. It's something like a hundred k, hundred k maybe. Yeah, I, th I believe a hundred k is right. That's another one of the one, two, three, four, five awards. If you keep full spotting these drop targets. Full disclosure: I own the game, but I'm not sure of point totals. <laughs> I'm not right. the best with that. I mean, who cares about the special one? You could just do this all day. Yeah, yes. exactly. Hopefully, uh, the guy who came up with the software that's actually running is watching the stream and maybe can make some more modifications to nerf this. Ah, uh, this is pure skill. Yes, that it is, I but mean, it still needs to be nerfed. <laughs> <laughs> it's too nice a play feel. Well, there was a Not bonus X from X. the top. Oh, nice nudge. Great save. Another one. Staying alive. Back to a cradle, back under control. Oh, I should be better if it didn't come straight down. If somehow every time you went up, it went all the way out. <laughs> then it wouldn't be as repeatable. Have the uh, the ball right into the top of the slingshot post. At an accelerator magnet, so it takes off. <laughs> Probably wouldn't be that hard to nerf. I mean, you just take away the spotting. Yeah, spotting the drops. Yeah, I the think spotting the drops. That especially would. like two or three on each shot. Yeah. That's a little bit too many. Yeah. But Andy's dialed in right now. And I mean, this caliber of player makes it look so easy, but it's definitely not easy to repeat it no. so continuously like this. Yeah, Andy's doing an awesome job here. Oh, almost. 3X. Some nice bumper love there. Oh, oh that ball was only one target for four X on the right. He's not going to go for it. That's aiming for tried. it. Yeah, that one target. That's another hundred K. That's a hundred K target right now. Nope. He says, nope, too dangerous. I'm going back over here. <laughs> back to the grind. 
Okay, it's like you hit the switch, it's a target. It comes back, hits it again. Then you hit the inlane, it's another target. Now it does take some skill, like there, Andy noticed that the ball was traveling too slow. He couldn't do the ski jump, so he did have to flip away. So you do have to be able to read the ball coming back through the inlane. But usually it does a nice little bounce over like that. And I should explain the five bank in the center there. In front of it, you'll see the inserts. They each have different awards that you're getting. One is light collect on the left. There's other awards like um, actually uh, bonus to 200K, one shot, boom. Save. Actually, the, the three bank before that one target I kept saying for no, that's not true. He, he hadn't completed it once yet. Now the X is actually lit on the three bank on the right. Over two million. Making great progress. I can't wait till they go for the catch up feature. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh, so it's special. That it's like another 100K. That'll be great ball. 300K. Nice. Thinking that should be a banned maneuver. <laughs> the thing is, I, I can't really say anything bad about stuff like this because, you know, even the tournament mm -hmm. organizers of this tournament, if they saw something like that as a player, they'd be all over that. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. As a tournament organizer, they're probably like, oh, no, <laughs> <laughs> we can't do anything. I mean, it sure feels good when you're the one doing it. Yes, it does. <laughs> Fortunately, quick ball there from Kaylee. He couldn't yeah, quite he get the get uh, in the groove. Get in the groove there. We'll see what Eric does here. Maybe in my case, it's just jealousy because I don't have the talent level to, oh, <laughs> to, to, here. to do the same thing same over here. and over. It's like, yeah, that would be fun. Eric seems to have fully switched over to the bounce over. <laughs> so tuning in, you're watching Indus 2023. This is the Classics 2 tournament. Uh, 32 uh, people in this round right now qualified for playoffs it's a uh, three games we're in the third game of this one but uh, each game uh, if you take first second third or fourth you uh, you get uh, four points for first two for second one for third and you take a zero for last oh, oh. and Eric just lost it there but the uh, the players with the two highest scores will move on to the next round. Yeah, so we have 32 players in four person groups. We're playing three games with those 4 2 1 0 scoring. Like Tom said, the top two will move on. The bottom two will get some, some cash. I don't know how much, I don't remember what it is, but it'll go from, what's my math here? 32 and on behalf of 32, 16, 16, and then eight, then four. And I'm thinking yesterday it went to about 11. I'm thinking with Carhop and Sheeta in play, it may go longer. <laughs> 
Great control by Colin here. So on his first ball, Colin was focusing on the uh, bonus X. Let's see if he is he switching over to the uh, this left shot strategy here. Looks like it. Going to get a collect there. Nice. And this tournament will be played on a, uh, there's a selection of 18 different machines that could be in play. High seed gets choice. They'll be there picking the game or their position in play, but they can only pick the game once in the t whole tournament. So not per round for the whole entire tournament. So there come comes some strategy in there with your picks. So Andy way in the lead here with uh, two million points and he needs it because he needs to get a first here to keep his tournament hoops alive. Absolutely. And if we're lucky, there's some kind of math where there will be a tie and we'll get more action. That's part of pinball is more pinball, but Carl's shaking his head. No. He doesn't want any more action. Oh, <laughs> he doesn't want any more action. <laughs> well, time constraints. Pinball is unique in that the better the players are, the longer everything takes. Uh, that is correct. And these are the best players in the entire world here. I mean, at this point, where this is in disc, but it's also called the IFPA, the, the Open. Would this be the largest major at this point? Very well. Because the worlds are an invitation. Yep. And I being would, open, it's yeah, completely open. open. Anybody open. can attend. Anyone, all you in chat, you can, well, not this year, but next year. <laughs> yeah, please come. You should, please you stop should by. Put it on your calendars. I can't guarantee you the same games yeah, will be they, here, but. I think they got five hours if they're close. Qualify on the open. That's true. That's <laughs> true. I, I don't know why I didn't think of that. <laughs> nice nudge there. Keep that ball in play. Yeah, Andy is. Uh, He's been in the best groove of all the players as yes. far as this. Uh, He's got this shot this down. This maneuver. He doesn't want to go home. I mean, it's just perfect every time. Yeah. <laughs> and even he might be surprised how perfect this is right now. Look at this. Nailing that shot when that ball's bouncing, it's not It's not trivial at all. The uh, the Open, which is the, the main finals of tomorrow, uh, which will be streamed here live, uh, Andy actually qualified with his first card. Wow. Yeah, that is amazing. That'd be nice. Oh. <laughs> One target, two targets down, three targets down. <laughs> well, you can't blame them for being repetitive. The game is allowing them to do it. It's rare that pinball allows you to do anything. So well, <laughs> when, they made this, you get. when they made this game, they were not accounting for this level of play. That, that, that is for sure. That is correct. I would say these players would be an arcade establishment's uh, worst nightmare. <laughs> <laughs> they keep getting replays. Yes. <laughs> He only put a quarter in. Oh, it's having trouble getting up to that switch. <laughs> oh, oh, almost lost one. it there. Those out lanes can be hungry. do want to play in the open, we are at the Riverside Convention Center in beautiful Riverside, California, or rainy Riverside, California. 
<laughs> there's, plenty, still, there's still time. Plenty of people playing, but also a lot of onlookers watching on the big screen behind us. And thank you for everybody joining us at home, wherever you are. Remember, you can uh, subscribe to IE Pinball. Uh, Carl has a lot of tournament action in here. He does a lot of tutorials of new games. And you played a new Stern. You may have seen one of his tutorials on the LCD screen. Carl does so much work here. Give him some love in the chat by uh, subscribing. And I can't remember, is the Twippy voting still going on? Twippy voting is still going on, you couple could, days. You could vote for IE Pinball for best streamer. Yes, absolutely. We also have the uh, high stakes bank here at the tournament today. The, the finals will be at the end of the day tomorrow for that. I think there's over a $15,000 prize purse. 15, yep. That's a lot of money. 80 players. That's a lot of money. Although I think you still would not be able to afford the latest James Bond <laughs> 60th <laughs> anniversary <laughs> with that money. You would still need $5,000 more. <laughs> Keith Alwyn, who is here, would appreciate, appreciate that. Appreciate it. <laughs> but to, to be fair, you could buy a brand new James Bond premium. That is true. The top pop there didn't didn't pop. Yes. Wonder if the got to wipe that sweat off. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Chopping a lot of wood yes. here, grinding away. It is hard work. Just concentrating yeah. on that. He's got the 4X. He's just making it look easy. Yeah, I mean, keeping this level of focus for so long. You got to keep in mind, we've been playing pinball for three days straight <laughs> now. Long time. <laughs> long time. Long time. He doesn't like that. Shaking his head. Right in the pop. Good control. He's losing the shot a little bit. It does make me sad to see three spinners so unused. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, not, not like most Sterns. There's not a classic Stern game that does not have a spinner. No. It's almost like at this point, just for variety, I'd get greedy and try to get the 5X. It's the three bank on the right. We'll give him 5X if he can complete it. Yeah. These players are smarter than me, and they will not well, do that. <laughs> I know Andy knows. He knows who's in his group, and uh, all of them are capable of catching him. The more points, the better, right? Oh, ah, there it is. Great what a game. Great job by Andy Even there. Even when you drain, you get an extra 100K for the special. <laughs> wow, five, five point okay. six million. What was the high? The high, I think, said it was 5.3. So that that wow. is a new GC, I believe. That's wow. great. Wow. Feature of the Stearns of this era, before ball three, they will show you the high score. So you know what you're shooting for. Well, let's see if the other players can repeat that expert play. Kaylee's been having trouble finding it so far, getting in the groove. He's having trouble. Oh, uh -oh. oh, oh something oh, broke. Oh, oh. Now that's, that's just on the a play uh, rubber from the plastic. That's think, easy. Yeah, I think they're just yeah, going to yeah, probably play ignore on. that. No, no I used to smash through it. I don't care. Cause that, that won't it's hurt gonna, anything. It's, it's gonna, just going to It's gonna <laughs> yeah, make its way down. It'll <laughs> fall into the... Uh, 
out hole and probably eventually. And reset the game. No, no eventually. <laughs> it'll fall oh, into please. the uh, coin box area probably. Eventually. Don't worry if there's a reset, we have uh, the scores. <laughs> Good thing Carl wasn't listening there. You might have fell over. Nice nudge. And Kaylee, I know, owns a bunch of games himself, and he knows what that is. Oh, yeah. I'm not going to damage anything. Nah. We're all good here. Just trying to get in that groove. It's looking good now. Nope. decides if there is a tilt, is there a ref? There is no referee. The game <laughs> decides if it's yeah. a tilt. There's a little tilt bob in the mechanism in the game. Which this game was made in 1980 and the tilt bob and the brand new James Bond pretty much looks the same. Yeah, that mechanism hasn't changed has in not changed. half a century. Oh, oh, good save. Oh. Yeah, we forgot we you can wiggle this one. Yeah. Oh. oh no. He just couldn't get into the groove there. No. It was a struggle. And Eric Stone. He's got the collect which collected 10K. Eric Stone is the defending IFPA world champion. He is, and he's uh, he's won some classics and opens here as well. 2020 uh, main division champion here at Indisc. I believe he's wearing the, the IFPA world's shirt. Yes. That has the like May of 2020 date on it or whatever it is where it didn't actually happen. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wonderful pandemic ending that yes till 2022 I think it's possible we may have a three-way tie after this game that would oh, be great six, that six, would six. be awesome because I'm only on here for round one. I guess I get to <laughs> stay longer. <laughs> <laughs> He's just trying to get into a groove here. There we go. And from that uh, other group we were watching, uh, Travis oh. Murray and Jeff Teolis advanced to the next round. Okay, what did they play on for the third game? Mm, they played hot doggin. Oh, which we were guessing that Teolis would pick yep. hot doggin. Took, uh, he took first and uh, David Johnson took second. And Travis took third. So we're watching the, the other wide body. Yeah. <laughs> Was it, are, aren't the ballet ones a little wider? Yeah, that each company kind of had their own wide body dimensions. Stern, Stern was, was the least wide. That's probably why their wide bodies play the fastest. 
They're also longer. They're wider and longer Ooh. than a regular play field. Valleys are just wider. They're actually the same length. And then Gottlieb, they had multiple uh -oh. Uh -oh. widths. Eric's good. Trying to get back into control here. Go. Do the thing. See that? He's getting a little extra little bump. Yeah. Like boom. Boom. There we go. Now over two million. And if Eric if Eric's able to catch Andy, uh, Andy will be officially out. Oh, that's trouble. Oh, nice. just joining us you're watching cheetah we're all getting a look at the new meta new super strat <laughs> <laughs> which is funny because this was this was the old meta Too much. A little too much. Not what you want. Will That's he pay down. for it? Yeah. And one time it made it all the way through. What an effort from Eric Stone there. And now Colin wants to avoid this tiebreaker, I believe. Yeah. Because as the game lies now, it would be a three-way tie. Mm. So he, need, he needs to try to catch Eric. If he can, he can avoid that tiebreak. when I was watching this today, Colin was the first person I saw actually doing this. And everyone after him I saw was doing it. <laughs> Is Colin guaranteed? Um, never mind. He's got to catch Eric. So I think I remember I was watching Kaylee do this strat with Colin, and Colin asked, Is Kaylee just doing this all day? No, said yeah. Uh, okay. <laughs> so then maybe Colin tried to do the same thing. So you're saying it's Kaylee's fault again. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I saw Keith Allen play this, and he did the same thing. Yeah. yeah like you said, it's the old meta, the, the yeah. new meta. I think the only variation when Keith did it, he was he was doing this part, and it would have come down. He went for the three bank ah. until he got to 5X, and then he just went left only. Like this whole strat is just having the patience to get into the groove to begin with. It's like when it doesn't go up far enough, you can't get enough speed with it coming down to get the ski pass nice. And if you do it too hard, it comes all the way out. Oh, that ball is looking sketchy for a second there. Oh. Oh, boy. Oh, no. 
Dallas saw Good it nudge. coming. He saw it coming too. It takes out lane a lot more than you think it would. If you look at the posts, it just looks like it would not take the out lane. It's just almost like uh, you're being borged before there was such a term as being borged. <laughs> Sitting at uh, 300,000 in bonus right now. Mm -hmm. It's getting close. So what lights the collect bonus on that one? The, um, the five bank. Okay. It's one of the five bank awards. It's the four inserts in front of the five bank. Okay, gotcha. Even when you complete them the first time. The thing is, he had it, if I remember, he had it lit right at the start of the ball and took y it. Yes. So I, I don't That's think you right. can light it again Okay. on this ROM, on this version of the software. But also, I mean, he's got the 3X, too. So he's at 300, you know, he's at, he's at 300K. Right. He drains, so. I think he only has that one drop up if he wants to get 4X as well. Yeah. But. He's probably just going to. Well, actually, no, that won't give it to no, him. No, oh, yeah, right. he's got to do time. it again. Yeah, you need to get that. And he went for yeah, it. He did. Dro drop target bank two times. There we go. So he can try. To get a bonus multiplier. Which would be 400K, which would be enough. But it's more dangerous. So. But I think he has passed Eric in bonus now if he doesn't tilt. Yeah, you're right. Especially now he just got a multiplier off the top. So if you're in this situation, do you trust math? <laughs> on purpose, uh, you know, not take a chance at maybe tilting or something going wrong with the game, uh, game resets, something like that. I'd rather rather get it just to make sure. Yeah. But everyone always says that. Reminding myself not yeah. to tilt. There's <laughs> a lot of times so he got the 4X too. So he's, a, he's, a, he's got plenty. He's got Eric got now. So Colin is safely moving on, but he does have a chance to pay, pass Andy Bagwell and take first. Which would uh, safely move uh, Yeah, as it stands right now, I believe it'll be a tiebreaker between Andy and Eric, but we'll see if Colin can keep grinding away. So you're saying right now, as Andy is secretly saying. Yeah, Colin, <laughs> drain now. Strain, you're good. Strain. You're good. <laughs> Wow. Look at Andy behind him. Yeah, you see his reaction. He's like, thank God. Relief. Yes. Don't, don't punch Colin, Andy. No. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So Andy and Eric get to play a yeah. tiebreaker. It's one of those things where, like, oh, they never root against their fellow players. Oh, believe me. <laughs> He's like, please, Drain, please. <laughs> but Andy did the work. Yes. He had Big the, he had the yeah, thing yeah. down better than anyone else did. Yeah. All the players did work on that game. That was just a master class. And, man, I'd be exhausted after playing that marathon game. Uh. So, yeah. yeah, we're moving on to where we'll have a tiebreaker between uh, Andy and Eric Stone, I believe. And I don't know if he's watching, but if my buddy Scott – who did the code update that's on that sheet. If you're watching, please watch that stream <laughs> and fix that, please. Who is the higher seed between Andy and Eric Stone? I'm not sure. 
Maybe we could get that info. You could get that yeah. info on your phone directly <laughs> in front of you. If you're just tuning in, uh, we're at It Never Drains in Southern California. We are in our second Classics Tournament playoffs. Um, we're getting to the tiebreaker of the first round, so stay tuned. We'll have more pinball action for you. So Eric is the 18th seed, and Andy is the 31st. Okay. Oh. And Kaylee was the number two seed. Wow. And unfortunately, and he's not it's not Carhoff. And, and it's we not see the It's going to be... Stopped right in the middle. Stopped. Oh, <laughs> come on. The suspense. Suspense is killing me here. Uh, Paragon, maybe? No, Aladdin's, no, Paragon? Paragon. Paragon? Paragon. Please tell me Paragon. Paragon. Yes. Yes, this will be <laughs> much faster. High five for <laughs> Paragon. <laughs> oh. One of my favorite valleys, very brutal. This will not take long. Yeah, I think this is definitely one of the best classics game games out there. Just the high skill ceiling, very skillful play, very difficult. We'll, we'll probably see some tap passing. How did I forget? That's the third wide body. We got Cheetah, Hot Dogging, <laughs> and Paragon. It's classics, man. <laughs> All right, we're gonna head on over to Paragon. Yes. All right. Yes. Winner of this game will advance to the quarterfinals. Oh, they gotta move the and camera down for the score displays. First and oh, second. So, oh, first and second. Yeah. Duh, Ron. The incredible artwork. The artist Paul Ferris, on top of the lion thing. That's like a self-portrait. So you want to uh, increase your bonus here uh, by hitting hitting the spinner. We'll, we'll increase. There's a target. Oh, no. Oh, no. Yeah, the spinner, I think the left saucer. These targets, which, which, yeah, which the front one is very dangerous. dangerous. Uh, the saucer rollover will increase bonus. And the drops. Uh, dry, hitting three drops down will give you 2x multiplier, finishing the fourth 3x, and then getting in that back saucer for 5x your bonus. Yeah, this, this game is so brutal that the first drop target is pretty much useless. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, never understood. It's just like it I mean, means nothing. Just to make it that much it, harder. Yeah, just to get to the second one. Very nice. You can also spell Paragon by going in that saucer. And this is set easier. They're going in order. Yep. Which I like. There's a free drop. All right. Are right. we gonna see a tap pass? Nope. nope. We're sending it. Oh, the bee slayer. The, bee slayer. The, the nasty bee slayer. That's that pop up on the left. Nudge. Woo. All right. Let's see Settled a tap on. tap pass here. On the left. Let's see a tap. Oh, he said he's, he's calling it. He's got, no. He said, he's, oh, he no. he said I can't you tap can't pass. Tap pass. <laughs> oh, oh, no. Oh, oh no. Now, I have, you sometimes can post it and then mm -hmm. send it. Can you alley pass at all, or does that not work? No, I I would never not, try it versus game. Uh, not, not with the two flippers. I wouldn't try go. it. You can also do the rolling backhand sometimes if you flip it back, and then it rolls up, and you backhand the, the drops. That's now another technique. Now Eric's doing the right thing. Oh, oh. that's Paragon. Hitting that lockdown bar sometimes will send it between uh -huh. these saucers. And I've also seen people flip like crazy. Yes. Because it decreases the power, so the <laughs> kick out power is not as much. The other thing is the bonus resets every ball unless you get to the super bonus. He's getting right. at least 20k. Two drops. Can't quite get the third. There, there it is. we third. go. There's two X. The drop that actually means something. And if he gets the 20 bonus, uh, that actually locks in on his Locked next in. ball. Yep. Right, there's some bonus. That's called the waterfalls, I believe. On the, the actual waterfalls. The actual waterfalls. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh, oh, it literally did not hit anything. That was amazing. 
You can see this uh, gaping hole yeah. here. Very dangerous area. All right, All if right he doesn't there. get at least 65, 430, we're done. Oh. Will not be no. Oh, oh nice save! Saved it. it stays up. His no, tournament just... life on that nudge. Oh, oh my goodness! What a catch too. Had to do it. Well, oh, there's he an sent it with the alley pass. <laughs> we were proven wrong. Yes. <laughs> Takes a world beast champion slayer. to prove you wrong. Survives the beast. Look at that drop catch with the scissor flippers. <laughs> yes, there's a space in between the flippers. You can drain in between the flippers. I love that intensity. Yeah. That's Two Eric X. Stone. And that's that X. little flipper up there, that's what it's used mostly for, is just to get the ball out of the area. Go! And he gets five the five X. X. <laughs> He's thinking, guys. All this after that one save. And he alley passes it. Oh, my goodness. The big points there. Unbelievable. 25K. Caught up to Andy and big bonus. Now at this point, what do you go for? Uh, if you get the 5X. I just want to, yeah, spin or increase my bonus. Maybe go for Paragon Letters. You're only two away. There's that insert, Bob. It's going crazy. It's going crazy. <laughs> <laughs> you the, the, the inserts are cupped, so. Yes. And you don't want to tilt here. No. That's another thing I should bring up. Yes. Oh, yeah, 20K times five right now. So he has a bonus that's actually more than his current score. Final ball of Paragon here. There's a saucer for You a guys special. said you couldn't alley pass. You guys were so wrong. <laughs> uh, yeah. Sorry. Never even thought of trying. <laughs> he went for the spinner. Yes, he did. Oh, oh my goodness. I find it uh, sometimes a little easier with the upper flipper to hit that spinner. Nice save. Wow. Almost at 30,000. 31 now. Over, over 150,000 bonus. He's pointing at the cup to insert. Yep. I think it changed the path of the ball. <laughs> what a ball. What a world-class ball. Yep. All from that one save. So Andy's got to be thinking bonus and 5X here. Now let's look. get those Paragon yeah, letters and like the special. Nice. Yeah. 50,000 for a special. Ooh, oh, that okay. was nice. He will get at least one flip. That is, <laughs> that is a victory in this game. <laughs> right? Oh, no. Oh, no. He, he sent it. Into the out lane. Oh, yes, good sportsmanship by Andy. What a game from Eric Stone. That was a hell of a game. Ooh. That's and that's only the first, first round. round. <laughs> <laughs> that's why you got to watch out for wow. that, that little flipper on uh, Paragon. Oh, Not my. Not actually flipping at anything. Like I was saying, everybody, big thanks to IE Pinball for streaming today. Give them some follows. Give them some subscriptions. Support the stream. So congrats to Colin McAlpine and Eric Stone for advancing out of that group. And in uh, the other group, it was Jeff Teolis and, and Travis Murray. Travis Murray. So stick around for some more action. I think we're going to sign off here. Yep. Um, I'm and Mike Welsh. I'm Ron Hallett. And I'm Tom Graff. We'll All get right. you ready for the next group. Take care, everyone.